Hey there, it's YouTube from Brad, and it's time for the Howard Stern recap for the week of September 25th, 2023. Again, now I'm just doing kind of the things that interest me. I'm not going to listen to Ronnie, uh, the Ronnie show, or uh, I don't, don't really want to talk about uh, Anderson Cooper that much. Not really interested in the guest, but some of the things where he goes off on people. Um, so we'll recap that. But first and foremost, I want to mention... Uh, that Mark's friggin' is shutting down. Mark Mercer noting that he is no longer going to do recaps. So uh, thanks to Mark's friggin' for so many years of uh, help and entertainment by being able to recap the show for times where I couldn't hear it or if I just wanted to go back and say, oh, I wonder if I could listen to that one from 2008. That would be interesting. When, when did that happen? And Mark Mercer has it right there still in his sight, but he's no longer doing recaps. And basically for the same reason, he doesn't want to listen to the door knocks and John Blitt and uh, the lengthy interviews that really seemingly are going nowhere these days. Secondly, secondly I wanted to mention that uh, I did see on a Reddit post, and I'm interested to hear from you here uh, that Benji is no longer on the show. Is this, is this true? Um, so Benji's Twitter account does not list Howard Stern as an employer anymore. I don't think it's been brought up on the air. Of course it wouldn't be when people leave. They don't, they don't mention it. So what's going on there? Anybody have any uh, take on that? Uh, I'd be interested to hear what you think. Um, <laughs> I don't notice any difference in the show being funnier or not funnier. And then lastly, that Will Murray is the head of writing. So maybe it is true. Um, there was, again, conversation in Reddit about how Maybe Will was the one that the bits had to go through. Um, it's unfortunate if Will is approving these bits, um, his com comedic timing along with Jason's not so good. But uh, a lot of the reason why the show is not the same, I would really love to ask Howard if he if he thinks the show that he's doing right now is is uh, anywhere near as funny. Just being funny. I, I don't care if you evolve and you, you don't want to talk to strippers and all that. The show just is is not as funny. But I do like when there's celebrity uh, bashing going on. And uh, the last recap I did was from last week where he went off on Bill Maher. And uh, so I will read from my notes that I tried to verbatim get Howard speaking about uh, what happened there. So uh, just to recap last time, Bill Maher had Julian Lennon on his podcast and uh, I guess was getting stoned and talking about why Howard wasn't nice enough to his first wife, and that bothered Howard. So here is, in Howard's words, um, kind of what he talked about this week with Bill Maher. Quote, I told you I was feeling weird about Bill Maher, and the reason I was feeling weird, I did the show, and I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday, whatever day it was, and I went into this whole scenario where he had said some stuff about my ex-wife, uh, unquote. Howard was pissed last week, but thought it was, quote, a reasonably non-controversial thing to say, but like everything I say, is somehow picked up in the news and very controversial and distorted. But he seemed to be really bothered by me saying that because it would upset my ex-wife and he had to do a whole theory on it, which really had nothing to do with me. And so I talked about it and how stupid the effing comments were. But I told you that Bill is important to me. It took us years to repair our relationship. I had been unfair to him and it took years to get that relationship on track and he did his show and I did his show and then I went out to Los Angeles and we went through a lot and I really felt good about Bill. So these are Howard's words. Continuing from Howard, I hear from him once in a while and email, but my feeling about Bill Maher is what he does on HBO is really important. I think he speaks a lot of the truth. A lot of, of what he says makes sense. So I like his show very much and so I was pleased that we were getting along. So it was a disappointment to me, but I did go and write him an email. I told you this is something unusual for me. I wrote him an email, and he said, why don't you just give me a call? And uh, Howard said, well, I don't have your phone number, or I would have called you. Why don't you talk to me, you know, over the phone about this, because it seems very peculiar or something like that. I didn't even write that much, so I don't know what it was about, but Bill wrote me back, and he said, Howard, I never got your email. So Howard said he gave, uh, Howard gave me, he said to give me your number, I want to call you, speak to you, and we had a talk. I spoke to him over the weekend and I told him about my shock at this commentary and he was apologetic. And so, yeah, we talked for a while, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, I'll move on. And that was that. I'm not going to go into the details of the conversation, Howard said, but I was pretty blunt and then he seemed to get it and he was gracious and then it was okay. So I said to him, that's basically the end of this conversation. Uh, I think what you do on HBO is so important. So I was really happy that uh, he reached out. 
The tentative agreement was chill. Everything was okay. So we're back on good terms. So there's that. Robin said, it's just one of those things. Are you speaking what you really feel when you're on, you know, a substance? Or are you speaking what you really feel? And so that's what happened with the Bill Maher. Unfortunately, uh, Howard is back to being friendly with him. So there won't be much more anger at him. Then there was a story uh, over the weekend about Donald Trump. Uh, So here's Howard talking about that. So Howard says, anyway, telling you about my week and it gets even weirder from there. So tired, all of a sudden a friend started to write me on Saturday and they said, hey man, I hope you're okay. I love you and I really want you to go after Donald Trump. But then again, I don't want you to go out. And then the, and then I'm like, what the F is going on? I was talking to my daughter, Emily, and she said people are writing me all this weird stuff like she didn't want to be the one to break it to me either. So Donald Trump had tweeted me about something on social media or truth social or whatever it is and he did it late saturday night like three in the morning trump was writing that i'm a broken weirdo and that i am not loyal to him which is bizarre i mean i don't work for you why would i be loyal to you i mean i don't even know what he's talking about but anyway he wrote about me that i'm a broken weirdo and i'm ugly and all this kind of stuff and that i'm irrelevant and so i was like why would he start this up and then i put all the pieces together so a couple days ago i went on the air and said something like Actually, to tell you the truth, I don't even know what woke means. So it shocked me that the dumbest shit that I talk about becomes somehow news. It's weird. But anyway, I said, I guess I'm woke because I'm not mad at a transgender girl with a can of Bud Light. I don't see the problem with that, Howard said. They want to reach out to everyone they can. Try. Uh, they want everyone to drink their beer, and it doesn't impact me. I don't feel like the transgender is being shoved down my throat at all. I've honestly, I don't see any transgender people anywhere I am. But I'm happy to say I guess I'm woke because proudly I will say I love the vaccine. Howard continues, I'm going on Friday to get it at CVS. I feel grateful to this country for providing a vaccine. To me, I feel protected by my country. I love gay rights. I support getting people getting ahead. I like Social Security. I like people getting Medicaid. Um, So if that's what woke is, then I guess I'm woke. Um, That was basically it for that conversation. So him just responding to the Donald Trump thing. There's a lot of Taylor Swift talk this week and uh, Travis Kelsey, uh, as it has been in America. It's a slow news week in America, but uh, Howard seems to think that the announcers have a list of songs that Taylor Swift has sung so they can have that ready to go whenever they uh, you know, show her or show Travis Kelsey. So there's a lot of that this week. And the other fun thing that happened, I guess, I a smidge of this was uh, they had a staff survey because... Um, I guess Ralph and and Wilding were talking a bunch, and they just want to know, all right, let's bring everybody in. What do you think? Is Ralph gay or not? So a lot of the uh, staff came in and said yes, uh, either bisexual or something, but uh, this went on and on on Wednesday. So that's the recap. Uh, Again, I won't be doing full recaps like Mark's friggin' here, but if I hear or see something that I enjoy, and you're coming here to watch this and listen to this, To get your recaps, I'll continue to do them. Uh, I appreciate people commenting. And you can comment in here your thoughts on anything you've heard here. The Bill Maher saga. I wish that was going a little further. Uh, The Donald Trump stuff. uh, Mark's friggin' going away. And then uh, Benji uh, not being on the show with Will Murray being the head writer. I would love to hear your comments. Would love you to like and subscribe and uh, look at the description as I have a shirt shop with Howard's theme shirts in there. I can create anything you'd like. So just rip off uh, something in the comments and tell me what you want and I'll put it in there Uh, and you can buy those shirts. I appreciate folks going in there and buying shirts. Uh, Recently had a few folks go in there and uh, click on the buy shirts thing. So really enjoy that. Appreciate you coming by. More interviews coming in October and we'll see you next time.